And at that moment, he realized these were the droids he was looking for. Hey guys, me host Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I've got. It's the Sand Trooper. Now this is from an old Black Series line. It's the orange line. As you can see on the back, there's the orange stripe. And this is number three in the collection. Imperial Sand Troopers fall prey to a Jedi mind trick. So we saw these in uh, New Hope. Um, and this is by Hasbro. These are six inch action figures. Not much else to say about them. Let's open this bad boy up and get on the inside of it. Let's do this. Now guys, this is a minting package one that I have found. And I am going to open it. I am sorry. However, I am going to be very careful. Oop, here we go. Okay. He's well in there. Let's take it from the bottom. Come on, bring your head with you. Oh, they use them awful elastic tie things in this one. Ugh. Before the days of just slotting them in the box. More plastic tyres. Never seen plastic tyres on a black series before, that's interesting. Whoop! And there's the backpack, and there's the gun. Just slot that back in the box. For future use. Okay, a lot of components with this one. Oof. Oh, it's very stiff. Which is good for an old action figure, I suppose. Okay, I like all the weather wear on this one. This is awesome. So this is the Sand Trooper, and the detailing is immense on this figure, guys. As you can see, it's got like the sandy effects from being in the deserts of uh, like the Mos Eisley Cantina, and uh, you know all that kind of area. Oop. Wow, very stiff action figure, but very nice. Uh, you kind of want it stiff, you don't particularly want it to be too loose. Uh, but look, uh, let's talk articulation while we're here. We've got the head sculpt, which is on a ball joint, so you can lift that down. It only goes down as far as this piece because the metal, the, the, the helmet and the chest piece that comes across, sorry, the shoulder pad that comes across uh, gets sort of wedged together. Um, it will turn left and right as well. It is on a ball joint, so that's pretty good. The arms, they do move up. <laughs> as far as the costume pieces will allow. And obviously rotate there. Mine needs a little bit more activation here. Uh, then we do have a double elbow, is that? Is that a double elbow joint? Yes, it is. A double elbow joint there. There is an elbow joint there and there, making it a double. The diaphragm piece, it makes him go from side to side and it can rotate him as well. Legs do lift up with a double knee hinge there as well as you can see it goes all the way round and the legs do have an, a slight upper bicep break but nothing too crazy there uh, the feet are on a rocker crazy rocker ankle pivot and the feet do flex as well so all in all an excellent action figure and does come with a multitude of accessories that we're going to take a look at now I'm just going to make sure he does stand on his own maybe not after I've played with him so much Yeah, I'm going to have to tease that back into place. <laughs> um, his components, so... He does come with his uh, sort of backpack. Which is pretty nice with the, uh, you know, the pieces that come across and that slots into his back. So that's nice. He does come with the big blaster rifle. He also comes with a small blaster rifle as well, which is the standard issue standard one. And then he does come with this particular gun as well. Not sure what that is. That's pretty nice as well. Well sculpted. You'll be able to see those a little bit more up close and personal when I take it to the desk cam. So let's try and slot that backpack onto this trooper. Okay guys, I'm going to take this to the desk cam so you guys can see this sand trooper up close and personal. So let's do this. Okay guys, and here he is. Look at that gun, the detail on that gun is amazing. And the figure itself is spot on, loving it. The weather wear, I'm not sure if you can tell that on this, under this lighting, but the weather wear on this costume piece 
is amazing. He genuinely looks like, especially on the helmet, genuinely looks like he's been uh, in the deserts for such a long time. Such an awesome, awesome design. It's well articulated as well for a Black Series. They've got, they seem to have gotten progressively worse, if I'm honest. Black Series, back back when this was released, were very well articulated, and it seemed lot, lots of accessories, and more in keeping with what I would expect from a big company like Hasbro, and from, uh, you know, Star Wars themselves, from Lucas. Yeah, it's a really nice figure, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I had a little bit of trouble getting to stand, first of all. A lot of the components took a lot of the... Uh, you know, some of the joints took a lot of warming up to get them to move. Uh, the back piece just sits into like a groove on the back. And he just slots into the back piece and then the little thing comes over to his shoulder here. So you might want to put the smaller... I, I've put the big blaster rifle in this hand. Which you might want to put the smaller blaster rifle in that hand. And then obviously you can put the hilt of the gun under his arm better in this one probably. And uh, this other gun doesn't like staying on his shoulder. It just constantly falls down. I thought I'd try and put it on his shoulder ready for the uh, review. But yeah, I'm thinking this is a very good figure. It's one that um, it's taken me a long time to get hold of. I won this in a raffle from the Black Series UK group on Facebook. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I finally got it. I can't wait to take some photos outside of this bad boy, you know, at the seaside of the beaches. And you know, take some actual, like, scenic style pictures with him. Maybe with some Scarif Troopers. Yeah, but I'm loving this figure, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. There's are not the droids you're looking for. There's not the droids you're looking for. Move along. Move along! And of course here he is opposite Ben Kenobi. You know them Jedi mind tricks on these sand troopers always work. These aren't the droids we're looking for, trooper, are they? No, my lord. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why he suddenly turned British and very posh, you know. Hey ho. <laughs> But all in all, guys, what do you think of this figure? I think he's really cool. Like I said, I can't wait to take some scenic photos with him. Uh, stick around, I'm going to do a couple of uh, diorama-style shots with some other figures involved. Nearly of these two. And then, of course, we'll take some nice pictures of this guy as well. And uh, put that to some music. So, cue the music! Did you enjoy the diorama shots of the Stormtrooper? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how I present action figure reviews nowadays with music and the, the dioramas and things like that and some, you know, a bit of fun. Let me know your thoughts on that because I'd love to hear back from you guys as to the style of how I present the figure reviews. Um, feedback is great for me. It really helps me out and helps me uh, keep making awesome content. But guys, as you can see, the room is slowly but surely getting there. Sorry, my hand's shaking. Uh, the room is slowly but surely getting there now, look. We haven't got as much to review as we did have. There's all the little cubby holes taking place. Still got a massive pile of stuff, you know, the DVDs and Blu-rays and comics and things. But uh, we are getting there, guys, and um, that's why I want to talk to you. I'm getting to the point now where I'm ready to do a Super Soul Room Tour 2017. So if that's something you guys want, you want to see my entire collection, you want me to sit and go through that big box under my desk, which I'll show you in a second, and go through every single action figure I've opened thus far. I'm happy to do it. If you guys want to sit and, you know, look through my entire collection with me, that, that would be awesome. And, uh, yeah, and give you guys an updated room tour, as well as Mrs. Super Sorrel's room in the other, you know, across the way there. Uh, I'd love to see if you guys want an updated room tour from her as well. So let us know in the comments uh, if you want to see that. Also, we've got some t-shirts about to drop, guys. Um, you guys have kind of been asking for some merchandise for a little while now. 
and uh, we've kind of got some coming. We've got we've got some really nice T-shirt designs. As you can see, oh, where is it? You see on here? Yeah, you see that piece of artwork just over. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, <laughs> that piece of artwork there up on the corner of the Super Sorrel uh, stuff. Can I zoom in? I can't zoom in on selfie cam. That piece of artwork over there, anyway, is going to be on a T-shirt. <clears throat> as well, we've got a, a baby gorilla size T-shirt coming. Because uh, you guys always laugh when I say I'm baby gorilla size, so I've got a baby gorilla size T-shirt coming. Um, we've got so much more coming, guys. We're going to be going away, possibly to Blackpool for a week, and um, you know, in August. Uh, so if you want me to do a meet up there, if there's a few of you from that area, from Lancashire way, let me know and we can do a meet up. That would be really cool. When I'm there, I'm going to be vlogging. Obviously, I think I think we're going for a few days. There's the Star Trek experience there now. I want to check that out. Uh, there's Madame Tussauds, there's uh, the dungeons, there's so much going on. There's a few collectible stores that people have been pointing out to me. So I'm going to be going to them as well and seeing what we can pick up. But guys, you know it's going to be awesome. You know this channel is going to keep growing and growing. I'm hoping that it keeps growing anyway. Um, I can't believe how quick it got to 100 after hitting the 6,000 mark. Um, I just want to thank you all for choosing to stick with this channel. And uh, we've got some awesome stuff coming up, guys. You've seen this pile of review stuff, right? Let me... Let me turn the camera around and show you guys what we've actually got. Still to come guys, we've got plenty of Playmobil, we've got some McFarlane construction sets, an abundance of pop vinyls, and yes, we've even got some Chase ones. We've even got some Marvel Legends, as you can see under there. We've still got loads of DC. In fact, I don't think I've reviewed nearly anything of the DC stuff we've collected over the years, so I mean, it's time to do some DC uh, unboxings as well, as well as Marvel Legends. We've got a couple of Black Series back there. We've got the Kylo Ren uh, Comic Con exclusive one over there as well. Spider-Man Homecoming Pie Size Heroes there. So much to do. And this is the big box of toys, guys. This is the big box of stuff. So if you want me to go through this entire box, every figure is bagged and tagged. And there's so much in there now. So if you guys want to sit with me one day and go through this entire box and show you my entire collection, that would be awesome, and I'd love to do that. So let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see. Also, I'll give you guys a full room tour and go through everything that's behind there and all the Legos and give you guys kind of a full tour because I can only show you so much in these kind of videos. The desk is still a mess. I've just obviously finished up reviewing this. We've still got so much more to go and do, guys. So stick around. So I think I've hijacked this video enough at this point. I'm going to get back to the figure in hand and uh, sign this one off. But thank you for sticking with this channel, guys. It really means the world. 6,000 of you chose to join us, which is amazing. We've got some great things coming up, some great conventions coming up that I want to do some hauls and vlogs. So please stick around. There's some awesome things coming. We've got the Marvel Legends Knights on order. You know, the, uh, the, the, the Netflix, the Defenders. We've got those on order right now. I'm waiting for them to arrive. We've also got the Force Friday event for 2017 right around the corner September 1st Whew, so much going on and I can't wait to go through it all Justice League at the end of the year we'll be doing a lot of toy reviews for that I'm sure and then the winter winter time guys you know what's coming we've got like we've got, we'll have the you remember last year we did the calendar on the countdown to Christmas the Lego Christmas calendar I'll be doing that again because that's fun and uh, we're, we're going to be going to a lot of Christmas conventions this year and a lot of Christmas sort of markets and I want to vlog all that and show you what toys I pick up at Christmas time Oh, I'm going to go Christmas shopping with you guys I'm going to do a vlog where me and Mrs. Soupsor will each go shopping for one another and film um, you know, while we're doing it so Mrs. Soupsor Sorrel will be doing selfie cam and filming everything she's picking up for me and I'll do the same for her and we'll put it together as like a little side by side video it's going to be cute, it's going to be great Christmas, Halloween, all great times on this channel Ah, oh, I'm waffling. Guys, thank you for tuning in. As you can see, the great stuff coming up. I'm really excited about it. And uh, let's get back to the original uh, figure review in hand here. Yeah! Okay, guys, but what do you guys think of this Black Series? Let me know in the comments down below. Smash that subscribe button, guys. It really supports the show. It really helps me out and helps me keep making awesome videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I'm sorry that um, I couldn't do the figure review that you guys voted on. We seem to have run out of the batteries in the Soup's whole household. And I, of course, want to do the Ecto-1 review with full sound and lights. So uh, that'll be coming up tomorrow when we've got some batteries. Uh, but for now, I did the Sandy Trooper. Hope you enjoyed this video, and may the force be with you guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, remember, these are the droids you're looking for. Goodbye!